I started wearing glasses when I was about 13. Since then, my vision has been deteriorating. It's got to the point where I can't really correct it with glasses or contact from lenses. Driving is a problem. I don't have a lot of clarity of vision. When I go down steps, it's difficult to differentiate where the step ends. I spoke to a doctor in Arizona, and he recommended to pursue corneal transplant. Am I scared of this procedure? Absolutely. I've been delaying, 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 mostly out of terror. If I don't have this procedure, I think that I will probably end up in a car accident. I think I've been terribly lucky in the past and had a lot of close calls, and eventually my luck's going to expire. Hi, Morgan. Hey, Doc. Good to see you again. Welcome. Good to see you. In an ideal world, what I would like to do for you is to do a partial thickness transplant, leaving the inner layer behind. My concern is that at the very center of the cornea, I see a zone where the deepest layers may have split open in the past. If that's happened, then our only real good option for you is a full thickness transplant. Morgan has a condition where the cornea is abnormally stretched, causing severe visual distortions to the point of legal blindness. We'll be treating his right eye today. What we'll be doing is putting in an air bubble first to separate out the deepest layer from the more superficial layers. What it, plan A wasn't meant to be, so we're into plan B. But the air bubble wouldn't take, and that was because his deeper layers had previously split open from all the stretching of the cornea, and so the two layers were not gonna separate from one another. And so we converted to a full thickness transplant. Corneal scissors. We will manually remove the surface diseased portion followed by replacing that with donor tissue that will allow him to have a more normal surface to his eye. Morgan is here just a few days out from that surgery with his surgeon, Dr. Kerry Seal. And Can you see? I feel good, I can see. Um, I was shocked when they removed the patch. I didn't know what my expectations were, um, but when uh, the gal removed the, um, the patch and I actually could see immediately after, it was quite shocking. Let's show everyone how fresh this is. If you look at the camera, you can actually still see those sutures that Dr. Asil put in. What, what was going on, Dr. Asil, inside of, of Morgan's eye that if he didn't have this, he eventually would, would not be able to see? So Morgan has a condition called keratoconus meaning that the cornea, the outer lens of the eye, which is the most powerful focusing lens in the eye, becomes deformed or cone-shaped, usually from mechanical stretching or mechanical trauma. As it becomes cone-shaped and irregular in shape, it can no longer focus the light properly, and so everything becomes distorted to the point of legal blindness. While it's good to rub our eyes when we're in the shower and, and lathering up for hygiene and also to prevent dry eyes, excessive eye rubbing or knuckling of the eyes can lead to this mechanical stretching. So if you find yourself sleeping face down all the time where the pillow's pushing on your eye all night, or you're knuckling your eyes all the time, you're better off seeing an eye doctor in the case of eye rubbing to give you eye drops that block allergies. It's allergies that make us want it, the same as we scratch our arms, you know? It feels good when we rub our eyes, and he had no reason to ever believe that he shouldn't be rubbing his eyes because nobody had ever told him. We've been preaching for years, don't touch your eyes to prevent transmission of viruses and other infectious agents. This is another one. I, I did not know I this, didn't know and this I'm either. not rubbing my eyes because we all do, yeah, but not anymore. You don't Doctor, wanna... and, 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 and Morgan, you know, you waited a little while to get this done. Right. Do you wish you'd have gone sooner? Absolutely. Um, my mother and I had an appointment with Dr. Seal back at the end of January, and uh, since then, my mom has been nudging and cajoling and nagging me and trying to get me to get this uh, done. And she said, did you make an appointment? Did you make it? Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm going to be right on that, be right on that. <laughs> and finally, she decided that uh, she was going to make the appointment. And Good for mom. Yeah. <laughs> and, and seriously, had she not, not done it. You're still the baby. <laughs> hey, Dr. C, always a pleasure. Hey, I'm Dr. Travis Stork. Press here to subscribe to the Doctor's YouTube channel and press here to help reduce tension.